But actually, that's one of the ways that we can actually beat these people, I think, is to disconnect from that financial system that we know is rotten. Hello? Uh, the other thing is, I always uh, make references to uh, books like The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings, because I think we are rather like those little hobbits. We haven't got the army to go and take these people, or whatever. What we are is we're the people who will inspire others to do it around other parts of the world. Because Tolkien wasn't a stupid guy. He, he had a lot of symbology in his books. And he was uh, at Oxford at the same time as C.H. Charles was translating a lot of Old Testament apocrypha books that had never been translated into English before around. He talked about Sauron, Sauron didn't he? Plug it in. No, it's, it's, someone's just switched it off again, apparently. But yeah, he talked about Sauron, the Dark Lord Sauron. And I sometimes feel like that and when I look at foreign policy. You know, you see things are going wrong in Syria, so it's time to do something to us over here. The eye has turned away. It's now looking down here. But the symbology in the Lord of the Rings should be clear to us. This eye of Sauron. Hello. That's better. Welcome. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, eye, the eye of Sauron. Thanks for the petrol, guys. Thanks, Mr. Rockefeller, sorting that out, maybe. Um, the, the eye of Sauron is a symbol for the Illuminati. People may think, oh, the Illuminati is a silly thing. A lot of people here I don't think do. If you look into the history of it, John Robeson, who was the uh, secretary of the, of the Royal Society in Edinburgh back in the late 1700s, wrote a fascinating book about it. I would definitely recommend you read it. It's very well written. And he explains it was like the MP's expenses scandal of its day. Who are these guys? What are they trying to do to us? Well, it's a massive sleeper cell. That's what he said. Robeson was the inventor, amongst other things, of the air, well, the, the siren, a steam-powered thing that screamed out down the ages to us. And so have a look at that. There's also Abbe Barrowell wrote a very good book on the Illuminati of the late 1700s. Their objective was to control politics, to control our minds, and to control religion, to control our hearts. And it was a totally evil system based on the old Jesuit system, which had been very successful, but they decided to use it for their own private and personal gain. The other symbol in the Lord of the Rings is the white hand of Saruman. Now, he's the guy, isn't he? He should be one of us. He, we thought he was on our side. But then we found out, ah, oh, no, he was on the bad guy's side. The symbology there is the white hand. Now, if anyone knows anything about Freemasonry, They'll know that they love to wear their little white gloves in their little Freemasonic lodges. The white hand of Saruman, the white hand of the traitor to mankind. So I'll leave you with some of those uh, thoughts because Freemasonry is definitely connected here, right? We've got Joseph Rettinger, who, with his SS pal Bernhard, created these meetings in the first place. He was a Freemason. The Poles have dug that out. A lot of people in Poland are getting interested in digging out information about the Bilderbergs because there's much more awareness of it nowadays. The other Freemason is Andrew Palmer. Andrew Palmer was the creator and the organizer of the last Bilderberg conference to happen in the UK. That happened in Turnberry in a big golf course in, in Scotland many, uh, 15 years ago or so, 1998. Now Andrew Palmer was the personal secretary to the Duke of Kent. The Duke of Kent, of course, being the Grand Master of United Grand Lodge World Freemasonry. So the connections are there. Maybe we'll find more connections, I'm sure we will, in years to come. But I think I'll just leave you with, well, I keep saying that, but I will leave you with the thought of just, if we see ourselves as the little Hobbit army, we know we won't lose and we can't lose. These guys are going down. So thanks very much for listening, everybody. See you again next year, maybe, or next time we come to the group. Thank you.